Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Tomb Gallows. Last time, we finally got a whole bunch of weapons and armor done. Uh, this time, we're going to keep doing that. Wish there was more to say, but that's kind of where we're at at the moment. Um, yeah, so we need legwear, we need gauntlets, and we need footwear. Uh, aside from that, I think we're also making more steel. Yeah. Did I tell them to start melting down everything? Yeah, I did. So, oh, I forgot something. Right, let's speed that up. Um, okay, we still got plenty of food and drink. I wonder if I should tell them to go back to now. Nah, definitely don't do that. Still need to make. Yeah, we also need to melt down all the. Mm. Just thinking, because we haven't melted down any of the metals we dug out. Um, never did figure out what to do with all of that gold. Mostly because uh, our dwarves are stupid and did stupid things with them. I wonder if we should make a gold, um, like a coin stockpile. I don't know why coins are still in the game, because they don't do anything right now. Supposedly they're supposed to go with, you know other things, but I don't think that's going to happen. But like, Supposedly they're going to go with an economy one day, but I don't believe that. I just want to see that. Mint gold coin. You can't add any details to them, so I guess we'll see what that means. There we got gold bars. I-10 has had six gold coins, 500. So one bar made 500 gold coins. Surprisingly useless in trade. It's a stack of 506 gold coins. Current gold currency of I-10 has had from year six. I design image of round cabajons and the coins back is additions of the crypt of dowsing, well designed image of thrips men. Uh, the ancient symbol is still pot of dwarven civilization. Surprisingly useless in trade. Really? I want to see if that's true, believe it or not. I kind of want to check that out, actually. Um, North Fortress coins. Tell me. Come here, Wiki. Tell me what I need to know. Uh. Stack of 500 coins, you said a value of 10, meaning the stack of 10 is 10 times material value. Uh, alright. Coins of their own stockpile, yeah. Name based on the year they are minted. Uh, da, da, da. uh, every material in every year gets no pair of images. Coins are usually going to be melted, return more metal than they used to create them. Wait, what? Wait, what? <laughs> what? Uh... Wait, what? You can melt... You can make more... Metal... Wait, what? <laughs> uh... Hold on a second... Okay. So basically what it's telling me basically what it's telling me is Okay. Um <laughs> So basically if I make 10 gold coins, 10 stacks of gold coins and melt them down again, I should have 11 bars of metal. Because apparently Apparently that's a thing. Alright, well let's try that out. So... Alright, six, seven, eight, nine. So that'll be ten... Ten units of gold coins. Of course, they're all worth the same amount, so... Yeah, they're only worth the same amount, so it doesn't matter what's on them. 
Wait, why are you putting so many... You don't need multiple bins. At least they're fast to do, I guess. How are we doing on the steel? Okay, apparently they're... Well, I'm glad we're making steel. That's good, but... Okay. I mean, I think this is a sort of a w pointless thing to do, because most of them... Like, coins have no, like, material value, aside from whatever they're made out of, so... Admittedly, this is kind of pointless. Okay, it's really pointless, but... Whatever. The Forgotten Beast. Uh, enormous Ios Oriole. It's three long straight horns and a bloated body. But there's poisonous sting. Eh, I'll just leave you in there. You can stay in there for the rest of forever. Thank you very much. We're not in the habit of opening up the caves for any fucking reasons. These coins are very fast to make. Okay, so we have a coin bin filled of everything. So, if we melt all these down, we should have one more bar than we started with. Which, if true, is fucking awful. I like. <laughs> Pretty sure that's a bad thing. Hilarious, but, uh... I don't know how the game measures that, honestly. Don't know how the game measures any of that, so I don't think it really matters. We still have steel bars to be making. Oh well. We have so much stuff we need to smelt down and make. Honestly. So I don't know how I would measure how to make extra gold bars because they melt the coins down in stacks of 500, right? So. I don't know if it saves. Like, I can't imagine it does. We have to save, like, parts of a bar to do that. I don't think it does that. We gotta melt design items? Yes, so let's not, let's not waste time with that. We have other things we're gonna be doing, so... Alright, ran out of metal objects, apparently. So... Alright, breastplates, crossbows, helm, high boot... Okay, we definitely need more high boots. Uh, we already knew that. So, we definitely need to start making... I'm going to start with greaves, actually. Start with steel greaves and go from there. Hopefully our our master or, or master uh, craftsman will, will know what to do. I don't have much faith in them, though. Uh, what else should we probably be doing? What if we just keep making steel? Although... Should probably melt down the other metals, too, after we're done making all the steel. Oh good, we're already making Masterpiece Steel Greaves. That's good. That's good. <laughs> it saves us... Hopefully they continue to make really awesome. Mayor's banned on exports. What does the mayor want? We're not allowed to export spears. Okay. I think we'll be okay. We don't have to export any spears. 
All right, guys, your job is to make more masterpieces. That's your only job. Should probably work look at or yeah, should probably look at making more spears. Wonder why our our dogs are not producing offspring. I mean, they're all war trained and they've produced offspring when they've been war trained before. I'm not sure why they're not doing it now. I'm a little sad. They only made uh I'm a little sad. They only made uh like Yeah, three, four Okay, never mind. Maybe it was at least four steel greaves that are masterpieces, but I'd much rather them have more masterpieces, I guess. I don't know. Well, the thing is, though, if we're going to make more steel, we're going to need more marble or quartzite or whatever. We're going to need more flux stone, basically. It's basically going to be our, our main source of contention. Glad to see we are actually getting more masterpieces now. So hopefully this will be me. We don't have to worry about it so much. Oh yeah, now you're now you're outputting a whole bunch of masterpieces. That's good. Apparently you need two steel bars per grieve. So all right, made another hundred steel bars. Uh, that's good. So once they're done doing this, we'll figure out what we need to smelt again. We'll get four left, so we'll be okay. Oh good, more masterpieces. Yay! Alright, so... Give it a minute. Actually, that would be a better idea. Better idea first. Military. Equipment. Uh, is it really set as legwear? Yes, it is. Of course, they're already wearing the specific legwear anyway, so I'm just switching their pants around. <laughs> but that's okay, because... That's okay. Means they're gonna be wearing the masterpiece stuff I want them to. And at least two of them are not wearing like the right leg wear, so. I don't know which two, but we'll figure it out in a second. Oops. Okay. Now you should all have the right metal leg wear. So they should all go now and switch their leg wear out if they're not already wearing it. Um, at least one of them left. Apparently that's... Yeah, we still have one guy who's, who's behind. Everyone else is an axe lord except for uh, that one dude. All right. Well, anyway, um, yeah, melt down all the terrible ones. Uh, still have eleven masterworks. So that's actually not bad. Uh, we need more, but that's a good start. All right, we'll set three of them to melt down metal objects. Actually, I'll set all of them to melt down metal objects, but then we'll have two of them to melt down the other ores for now because they'll finish that pretty soon and that should make it so that we have it should make it so that they get to get to work quick enough all right so what do we do in the meantime um yeah, let's have you collect webs i don't know if we have any yarn to weave in a cloth but if we do we should probably take care of that um, cutting a lot of gems, but I don't see you. Yeah, you're still cutting all the mica, so that's good, but, uh, apparently we had nobody setting the gems, so we're going to fix that. 
And we're going to pray and hope that they don't, uh... They don't continue to do it on their clothing, although I have a high idea that they're going to. Um, so what do we want to do in the meantime while we're melting down all those objects? Well, I suppose we could go back to studying with gold or something. Even though all this does is make them put shit on bags. <laughs> But it is something for them to do while they're waiting around for all that stuff to be melted. And we do have a lot of gold, so... I suppose I could make gold crafts, but we're already buried under a whole bunch of other gold crafts we don't need. A whole bunch of other crafts we don't need first, so... Honestly, you know what would be kind of funny is if uh, I did a run... Or I did a run where I could only use coins. Like, I couldn't export, like, I already considered one where I could only export, like, weapons and armor. Uh, I'm sort of thinking, like, what if I did, like, a run where I could only export coins. So, like, I could only use, uh, coins as trade goods. So. Oh, you can mint lots of coins. Okay, you can mint, like, lots of different kinds of metal coins. Okay. So that'd be interesting. If I did a run where you couldn't export like like mugs. You could only export uh like coins were the only thing we could export. So anything else we would have to use. So we wouldn't be able to make crafts. Uh or we wouldn't be supposed to be making crafts. We would only be making uh um other good trade goods. Please stop did <laughs> Of course they're going to be uh I mean I'm glad they're using the you know, things like that. But I'm not. I'm less happy that they're uh, less happy that they're uh, like doing it to the like large aquamarines. Good, doing it to like you know, doing it to bags. Less good. Oh, good. You guys studded an iron barrel with gold. Yeah. All right. Well, I guess we get. I guess it. I guess some of it is used. I mean, you got the green glass bracelet, so. Oh yeah, we have that large gold, co you know, thing that's worth seven thousand dwarf bucks. Uh. <laughs> All right. It'll be kind of interesting. That'd be kind of interesting, honestly. I might do that one day. I might have to th remember to put that down as a list of things to do in Dwarf Fortress at some point in the future. Uh, because that'd be kind of interesting. Hey, go brew drinks from plants. Even though we're running out of why well, we have so much meat. Oh yeah, because all the animals I killed. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I should gather plants again. Really shouldn't, but I could. Yeah, apparently we're out of things to melt down, so I suppose that's a good thing. Yeah, gather all the plants on this level, because I think they're coming. I think everything's becoming overgrown. <laughs> oh god, there's so many plants. I didn't think this through. I didn't think this through. It was a terrible plan. I made some mistakes. Mistakes were made. Mistakes were made. Hey. Uh. 
Anyway. Um, <sighs> sorry. I got... I got... <laughs> I keep doing this where I'm trying to like look at the wiki while I'm doing things because there's nothing going on right now except for, you know, cleaning up basically. Um, God damn it, dwarven child. <laughs> now the question is, should I go back to... No, I should probably wait before I... Uh start grinding up things again. There's so many, so many items that we need to, uh, so much crap to gather on the ground. There's just too much stuff to gather. Actually, I should probably check auto labor really quick. Like, what is the auto labor list for gathering stuff? Uh, herbalist. Minimum one, maximum 200. Pool 200. Okay. So I'm pretty sure that's the one that's that gathers things. I'm pretty sure Herbalist is the... So there's currently 15 dwarves doing it. Um, it's probably fine. God, there's so many plants. There's so many plants. But you know what? We're actually gonna... Let's set this differently. So, other labor... Herbalist... Minimum 5, maximum 200. What if we said a minimum 15? Or minimum like 40? I don't know. Minimum 20. Let's see what happens. See if that makes more dwarves gather plants. Mayor has a new demand. What does the mayor want? Black bronze table. Okay. Um. Okay. Uh, so one black bronze makes four, I think. Last time, I think that was what it was we figured out last time. It was you make black bronze, it requires gold, silver, and copper, and then it makes four black bronze bars. And then... Give him a table, I guess. What the fuck is going on here? You're making a really expensive green glass amulet worth ten grand. Alright. Well, if you want to keep doing that, I suppose. Um... There's so many plants. Even with 20 dudes supposedly uh, gathering plants. There's <laughs> so many plants. Oh god. Oh god. There's one thing I did like about the other labor thing is that it never we never had to worry about other uh, like running out of jobs. It always like automatically set them. Other labor is nice, but it's sort of a it's less. It's less useful, I guess, is what I'm saying. I mean, or it's less forceful, I guess would be the way to put it. It doesn't force dwarves to do things like uh, the other one does. Still smelting? No, I think you're done smelting. Okay, you're done smelting everything. Um, so I'm let them gather all these plants that we don't need. Uh, we have 620 cave wheat. Pretty sure we can start brewing that now. We don't have to worry about it ever again. Same with the sweet pods. I think we can brew them. As much as I would love to... We're going to grind them up anyway, but... Um, now we can look at our stocks. And see how many... How much steel we got. 782. Okay, so we're doing alright with steel. Um, doing alright with the steel. We could probably make more steel, honestly. What is this? granite. And I'll tell them to cut the granite. Why not? Uh, cut the smoky quartz and the moonstone. Cut the granite. Uh, so we cut the gabbro. Let's cut all that. We don't need it. We can always dig out more useless stone if we need it. If we need non-economic hard rock, we can, I'm sure we can find it. Uh, which one's our mayor's room? Oh yeah, the one with... 
I don't know where to stick this table, I guess. Right here? I'm trying to stick it in a place where it's not going to, uh... Let's stick it here. Here you go, Mayor. Have your black bronze table. Yeah, it's dedication from our military. Even when they're off duty, they're still training. Uh, so is the mayor happy now? Yes. Okay, good. Alright. Um, probably have our engravers go back to engraving things. Give them something to do. Engraved masterpieces. What wonderful things. You know what I just realized is that they're, they're, oh god, they're, they don't have, oh god, they're just dumping things all over the place, oh no, no, what are you doing, uh, okay, that means we're running out of, I think that means we're running out of, uh, places to store them, yeah it does, alright, I've had this happen before, where basically they, they try, like the dwarves try to pick so much up, at once, and then they have nowhere to put all the stuff, so they just walk around and dump it everywhere because they ran out of barrels. So now I need to tell them to forge things uh, so they can stick all this these plants that they've picked up and are now dumping all over the all over the map. Uh, <laughs> whoops! Oops! Yeah. Okay, that was a mistake on my part. Uh, whoops. Anyway, um, right, so while they're doing that, <laughs> they're hopefully, oh god, so many plants. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh god. What was I thinking? I don't know how we're gonna, st we gotta stick all this into, into barrels now and, like, hope for the best. Um,. Looks like they're already starting, though, which is good. Probably because we're already smelting barrels, so... We're gonna have to smelt even more barrels, but that's okay. I knew it was a bad idea, and I did it anyway. That's, that's the story... That's the story of, uh, of me, <laughs> of this run, apparently. I knew better, I did it anyway. Um, <laughs> I don't need all this food. Oh... Uh, we're still gonna have to make more barrels, though. <laughs> still gonna need to make, like, a ton more barrels. Uh, so they can stick all this food in them. So, as soon as they're done making the last barrel, we'll tell them to make more, and then we'll go from there. Finished forging those barrels, damn it. I know you're all gathering food, but still. Alright, finished barrels, so. Make more barrels. More barrels. Alright, but anyway, this episode's gone on long enough, so I'm going to cut it, and next time we're going to clean up this mess that I just made and go back to making steel stuff. See y'all later.